Nicholas Cage, good actor or crazy dick? Today, we find out on this episode of Superhero. Today's Fan Art of the Week award goes to Patrick Farone for creating the cover to my own video game. My vote goes for Crazy Dick. You're probably wondering why Nick Cage is such a dick. Well first, we're going to be covering what movies he's been in. Alright guys, what movies has Nick Cage been in so far? Bangkok Dangerous. I, 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 I don't even know what you just said. National Treasure. Save words. National. Real movies. What was that? What was the one where he could see into the future? Uh, mm -hmm. Knowing. The, the Knowing. No, not the. Not the one with the paper where he could see wherever, like, when people were gonna die and stuff. I mean, like the one where he could like see into the future, but only like five seconds, and it was just. Oh. Not oh, important. No. Yeah, you know, the movie that happened, but actually didn't happen. The happening? Oh, the sorry. writers were terrible. The Sorcerer's Apprentice? <laughs> Nick Cage's crazy dickishness is known to be shown in the following terrible movies. The Knowing, The Knowing, and The Knowing. And his good acting-ishness is known to be shown in the following movies. National Treasure, Kick-Ass, and Horton hears a who. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being informed that 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 was not Nick Cage. That was that was Drew Carey. No, Drew, not Drew. Jim. Who's Jim Carey? Jim. What's the mask? Ace Ventura. The guy that talks with his butthole. If you're ever confronted by a wild Nick Cage, there are only three things that will help you survive that encounter. One, death-defying riddles. Two, apocalyptic papers from 30 years ago. And three, cake. Rich chocolate delicious cake. And about that hair. Cut it, you ornery bastard. You're like 70 years old. Start looking like it. Go shave your head bald until you have that weird half halo thing that all old people have. And go break your legs off one of your terrible movies. Get in a wheelchair. Look like my grandpa. Now to end this video, I would like to give out the first annual Grenade Award. Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Oh, I got, wait, oh. So, someone get that. Get it before it, oh god. For those of you that don't know what the Grenade Award is, it's an award that I give to the most badass person to ever badass their way through badassery. The first three candidates for the first annual Grenade Award are... Nick Cage, Polly Shore, and that small black guy from Fresh Prince. And the winner is Christian Be Christian Be Bale. Stop putting your damn name in envelopes. Just because you're Batman in the movie doesn't mean you're Batman in real life. What is she? Oh, you're gonna love me. Uh, uh. See, I can talk with a raspy voice too. It's not, it's not hard. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! What are you, what are you doing? Stop that! Stop using the incredibly powerful master computer for porn. Where's that chocolate cake? Where's that chocolate cake? Where's that chocolate cake? Where's that chocolate cake? Do you mean this chocolate cake? That's my piece. You want this cake? I want it. You want this cake? I want it. You want this cake? I want it. You want you want this cake? I want it. 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 
I was saving it because I got nauseated by that pre cooked mini mall rotisserie chicken. Mm. Mm. It's good. Give me that cake. The first annual Grenady actually goes to Nick Cage. I hope you catch this, you crazy dick. That's my piece. I want it. I want it. I want it. You want that cake? I want it. You want this cake? I want it. You want this cake? I want it.